Greetings and welcome to the Forum of Experts as we officially kick off the Global Demining Initiative for Colombia. Many people have contributed to this over effort over a long period of time. And I particularly want to thank President Santos, Minister Pardo, Director General Colon, Ambassadors Whitaker and Wagen, and my co-lead for this initiative, my friend, Foreign Minister Borger Brenda of Norway. Like many of you, I have met the victims of landmines in my travels, and I know you have in yours. In Southeast Asia, I watched small children propel themselves along the roads on little wagons. In countries across Africa, I've seen men and women balancing food baskets even as they navigate on makeshift crutches through crowded roads and alleys. In Bogota, I talked to members of the armed forces who'd been wounded by mines, long forgotten by those who had actually deployed them. In less than a second, all of these lives were changed forever. Different countries, different times, different individuals, but the same tragic story. We can't fully heal their wounds. We can't even restore normalcy to their lives. But we can vow to do everything within our power to stop the maiming and the killing. And that is exactly what the Global Demining Initiative for Colombia is designed to do. The United States, Colombia, and Norway launched this effort to help rid Colombia of these deadly devices no later than five years from now. Our goal is simple, to save lives and open the door to the full promise of a peace agreement, greater rural development, access to markets, and new economic opportunities for those Colombians who have suffered the consequences of half a century of war. So we must use this forum of experts to keep the momentum going. We should view the products of this gathering, the comprehensive strategy and action plans, as markers of accountability and signals of our shared intent to support Colombia in its historic effort to achieve peace. And I hope to join with your foreign ministers in New York in September to pledge our commitments in concrete terms. The stakes could not be more clear. On January 20th, Ferne Cifuentes, a 14-year-old Colombian boy, was helping his father herd cattle in Monte Cristo when he stepped on a landmine and was killed. He is one of the more than 11,000 Colombians wounded or killed by landmines and unexploded ordnance over the past 25 years. No one, and especially a child, should suffer that fate. For more than half a century, the Colombian people have known the costs of war. Now it is time for them to be able to experience the benefits of a just and lasting peace. So I thank you for your commitment to this important initiative. This can make a difference. And I wish you all a productive meeting and look forward to continuing our work together in the weeks and the months to come.